there's different ways to utilize the cloud. This simple diagram explains that any of these three models are actually possible with the cloud. Where we are today in the community is largely big, big companies have exclusively on-premises compute. It's really what we were showing on the prior picture where the red line doesn't really match the compute that's available. Now that's positive in some ways. The compute's already in place. It's customized to what a customer needs, but it comes with some issues. The capacity itself is capital expense. And that means you're depreciating it over you know, four or five years. You have an IT team that's supporting it, and it's relatively inflexible, as we just described. It's got these issues with idle engineers, idle compute, time to deployment that can take a lot of time. That model is imperfect. So what can the cloud do to help? Well, the easiest thing is actually to jump all the way to the right-hand side and go all cloud. Why is that easier? Well, you can switch your OpEx to CapEx, and that is generally preferable to the CFO. It's also very resource efficient. If you look at the depiction, the blue exactly matches the red, meaning that you're never really paying for compute that you didn't use. The challenge, though, is that that transition is tricky, especially if you're one of these companies that has a huge server farm investment. And the other thing that we hear a lot is that moving all to the cloud introduces this concern over controlling expense. The companies know that the cloud is an infinite pool of compute, and their worst nightmare is that an engineer over the weekend somehow consumes three weeks worth of compute budget by launching something incurring a huge cloud expense. So those are some of the mitigating factors. A little bit like you know the Goldilocks, uh, too hot or too cold or just right, hybrid cloud is kind of in the middle, and it's very attractive for its agility and scalability. It's an incremental change. The, the companies don't have to get rid of their on-prem environment to use the cloud, but it comes with some significant challenges. You still have all of your issues with your on-prem support that you need to deal with. When you begin using the cloud, you've just introduced new skills and requirements and knowledge that your IT group will need to have. And the tricky thing actually turns out to be data management. When you're either all on-prem or all in the cloud, you don't have to really worry about extra copies of your design floating around. Once you're trying to do some work in two locations, you have to make sure that you're working on the right version of the data every time that you use the cloud or your on-prem environment. So it's not straightforward. There's no one right solution, but you can see that there's a lot of factors that would go into making that decision. Craig, since your name tag says Cadence, I'm guessing Cadence has some solutions in this space? We're always concerned about our customers' best interests, but that doesn't mean that we're not also interested in promoting what we can provide and help our customers achieve. And in fact, you know, I'll talk a little bit about our portfolio in the context of the challenges and opportunities that we just walked through. And in fact, you'll see that in our portfolio, we've got solutions that address the various types of cloud environments that a customer might be interested in deploying. So if you look at our portfolio from the top level, you'll see that we've got a lot of information on the slide, a lot of graphics. I think it will probably make sense for us to talk through each of these clouds in a little bit more detail. But before we do that, I just want to paint the broad picture that depending on what the customer wants to achieve with the cloud, and we've been through a little bit of the range of possibilities in some of our prior conversation here, Cadence can take a different role and the customer may actually have different expectations. So the top level way that we have heard customers think about the cloud when we go talk to them about what are our capabilities as a company, they typically either want to manage their own environment or they want Cadence to help them manage their environment. And that's a very fundamental decision when it comes to the cloud enablement. And rather than try to force every customer to only use a cadence managed cloud environment, we felt like it was going to be much more palatable to give customers the option to do it however they would like to do. And whichever approach they take, we've put together models and programs to make that a little bit easier. At this level, just notice that 
when a customer is going to manage their own environment, they can do that either 100% in the cloud or partially in the cloud. That's really up to the customer. On the cadence managed side, you'll see that we have options for full cloud environments as well as these hybrid environments. And then a new type of solution, which we really haven't talked about yet, is what do you do about hardware emulation? And we'll talk a little bit more about how that can play a role, why the cloud angle is important here. And our customers can have an all cloud environment or they can have a hybrid cloud environment there as well. I think at a high level, that's a description of where we can go and it might make sense to dig into each of these in just a little bit more detail.